Hello, hello everybody. Today we're gonna be doing something a bit different because we've been playing Persona 3 Portable for a while, but then just uh, for some reason I just got the feeling, the vibing for playing something a little bit different. I don't know, maybe it's because of the just like ingrained anxiety against the like social timed aspect of it ate away at me or something because it's just like i don't know it's just ever since i started playing persona 3 portable been loving the game for some reason i've been finding it harder to stream so i figured let's try to jump start things a bit by playing something different in a way is also something that we've already began a bit ago because like last year i think i've got a few streams in but that was before I had a schedule, and I was just jumping around randomly. So, just overall, hopefully, this will be a perfect complementary game to, it, like, a, what's the word, interchange with Persona 3. Because, again, really, really liking Persona 3 Portable. But, eh, i just been feeling odd lately. And hopefully introducing something familiar but new, because I have never beaten Breath of the Wild. I forget exactly how far I've gotten into Breath of the Wild in the past. Last time, I think we finished Zora's Domain through, like, four streams, I believe. And then years and years ago, when Breath of the Wild was still new, which is... Disturbingly close to ten years than not ago. Mm. I think I only ever got three of the Divine Beasts. So, overall, let's see if we can... Well, at least beat my record on getting as far into Breath of the Wild. And then later on, we can do Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, probably from now on, I'll probably have two active games that I stream to hopefully break up the monotony. Or not monotony, but like sameness. To like energize my fickle goddamn brain. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why. Just like, for the first like half of the year of having like a schedule, I actually stuck to it pretty well, but I only played like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and like other Pokemon games. And that one just kept me, kept me quite a bit. But without further ado, let us jump in to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because I really do like the Breath of the Wild, like, world. Breath of the Wild was really cool, Tears of the Kingdom looks cool, and hell, maybe between playing Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, we'll play Age of Calamity. Because Age of Calamity is super good. I also streamed that way, way back. But I, I think I beat, like, the main, like, story part of it. But didn't beat, like, the additional things. Also, I just realized it's been a bit since I've played, like, a console console game. On hardware. For some reason, this intro reminds me of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arceus, Arceus. Open your eyes. If I remember correctly, this is the first, like, first party Legend of Zelda game with voice acting. You know, beyond the voice grunts and primal screams of. Le Twilight Princess Link. And like, not the broken up, modified speech of Midna. I really need to play more Legend of Zelda games. Because it's been forever since I've actually beaten one. I know I beat Ocarina of Time, but that was like when I was a kid. You know, I kind of want to know. Like, what is this rejuvenation pod? 
Why is there only one of them? Why did the ancient Sheikah make it? How did they make it? And why did it take a uh, hundred years for Link to... ripen up? Spin a bit. Grab the iPad. The Wii U. From YouTube chat. Hey, now on your back end, you're playing that Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yep. Because again, really enjoying Persona 3, you after your long but I feel like I feel like I need something to energize my brain. Because brain's been a, a villain against me. So hopefully having like two games that I can like interchange between will help keep up my energy. Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Come to think of it, how did they put Link in the pod? If they had to put the Sheikah Slate there, how'd they get out of here? But I think I'm also playing the game right on my Switch. <laughs> Which is actually kind of impressive, considering, again, this game is far closer to 10 years old than not. And now, Link has some pants. So he can pull off the wilderness... What's the word? Not Huntsman. What's the... Lumberjack, that's the name. Lumberjack. Yeah, I just got the mood for a Legend of Zelda. I probably need to increase the sensitivity of turning, if possible, if that's anywhere. Hmm, doesn't seem to be here. Probably not ability controls, yeah. Hmm. Just for some reason, the turning... Maybe it's because we're in the tutorial area, and they're like, Ah, oh, you don't need to turn around all that much. You don't need to Pull turn the fast. Up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. The power of technology. Ancient technology that's rediscovered and new again. Authenticating. Chica Slate confirmed. The ultimate, although it's kind of funny. Why would you need a Sheikah Slate to get out? You afraid somebody's gonna drill into the rejuvenation chamber? Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. You must be the Nico. heroic dumbass. To save the world. Although water did get in. Well, not into the inner sanctum. I don't know why. How'd this rock get here? Destroying the ancient Sheikah created steps. Like, I know the meme is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has no music. It's just that one piano. But... When there is music, it's really good. <laughs> so you're playing the game semi-blind, so you have a bit of an idea of where the story is about? Yep. Because I played it a long, long time ago and got, like, three Divine Beasts. Last year, before I had a proper stream schedule, I streamed it a bit and got through Zora's Domain. I also played the, like, uh, Age of Calamity Hyrule Warriors game. Really liked that. So, like, I know some of the characters, some of the things. But I don't know, like, everything, everything. And I've also forgotten quite a bit. We gotta gather up all the resources. Like, I, uh, another meme of meme about this game is that it's yet another open world crafter. But 
I forgive it for because it's like simple. It's very simple crafting. God, there's a lot of beetles here. We'll be able to do so many things with them. No point to push that to crush the old man. Crush his bones. Huzzah for apples. Hello, old man. I will pick up this apple and you will scorn me. Although, why would you want to leave your baked apple on the floor if you're not going to eat it? Get a plate like a civilized man. You have an axe. Make a plate out of a tree. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. This is the Legend of Zelda. Like, just below the Elder Scrolls games in terms of invade people's homes and take everything that isn't nailed down. Your words fall upon deaf ears, old man. <laughs> Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple in an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. You know, if it weren't for, like... First off, already, like, uh, even if you played the game blind, you already know something's up with the little hermit man. Second, it would be hilarious if, like, this was just an old man sitting on the plateau... Just being like, I want to get away from the horrors of the world and people. I shall climb this plateau away from everyone. The ultimate freedom. <laughs> I like it. Who are you? Or by? Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Again, I love that you can just say goodbye if you want. Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Although, depending on, like, the timeline, I wonder how... Technically, wouldn't Hyrule have been born in the clouds? Because that's where, like, Zelda and, like, the entire thing began. <laughs> or maybe they just came down from the sky from Skyward Sword and made Hyrule upon the ground here. Granted, this is, like, a fictional kingdom in a fictional world on a fictional continent. Who knows what's happened in this universe? The only thing that stays the same is that there's Hyrule, a Kakariko village, and that's basically it. Everything else in the land can change. Hmm. That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Hmm. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere ghost of its former self. Is that foreshadowing for yourself, old man? Some, like, play on words there. Well, not play on words, but, like, multi-meaning. I shall also take your fire stick. Hmm? Well, then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? <laughs> it's a secret. Uh, as old... Well, I just, uh, really, I just picked it up because I could. It has a weapon. Hmm. Innovative. However, that is probably best used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You can take my axe with you, if you please. Assuming you can find it. Hmm. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Press this button for locking on to people. I find it funny. It's just like, if you can find it, it's right here. Granted, it's an open world game. You can miss everything if you tried hard enough. 
an acorn. But I really like, from what I remember of blah, 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 Breath of the Wild. It's a fun time. Probably put the axe on. Da -da -da -da. Olympic diver Link. He just woke up after a hundred years, but he still knows how to dive like the best of them. Hello, Korok. Huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. A Korok seed. Like, the bane of collectibles for this game. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious, suspicious places. Easy for you to say. You're like a spirit that don't need to worry about anything. The evils of the world aren't hunting you. Rusty broadsword. I wonder why they're like, hey, you can throw weapons when you pick up the rusty broadsword. Or is it because I have, like, a full inventory now? Or are they just like, ah, that's a garbage weapon. Throw it away. Temple of Time. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Oh no, the voices are back. Well, let's listen to the voices just now. Just this once. The real question is, how did Zelda access my Sheikah Slate, or did she, like, pre-program it? Just in case. She's just like... That idiot's gonna wake up and have no idea what's going on. I'd better program his GPS so he knows where to go. My first enemy, the Bacoblin. Fool, I have an axe, and you can go flying. And now, your club is mine. <laughs> Rocks mean nothing to me, explodey man. I guess we'll just follow it for now so we can, like, unlock everything in this place. Make sure everything was good. Get all the abilities for maximum exploration. Before we try to explore. Let's see if I can get a strike. And it's good! Nom nom nom. More weapons for me. Another question is like, how, how could that happen in a hundred years? I, I feel like a hundred years isn't enough for like a tower to be covered by rock like that. Then again, this is a magic land. Anything's possible. Man, your eyesight's poor. Let go of that weapon and that shield. A Boko shield. How did they make the shields, these Bacoblins? What made them want to make a shield? Like, what even are Bacoblins? If you think about it. Do they have culture? How dare you notice me! Now die for witnessing me. I'm like a government agent. If you notice me, I have to kill you. But I also do like that, like, these ones, at least, they kind of explain why they explode. It's because they come back later. They're more like a, an e evil energy than an actual living thing. I almost missed having a second bow. Hey, butterfly, can I pick you up, or will you fly away? Darn it. 
Twitch or YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. I decided to give my brain a small vacation, hopefully energize it by coming to Breath of the Wild. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. <laughs> I like how he has to ex inspect it. He's like, it's made perfectly for my Sheikah Slate. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. How do you know? How do you know, Tower? Do you have some primitive, advanced artificial intelligence? To know? Although I guess I do know like, why it's covered in rock, even after only a hundred years. It's for epic cinematic time. I also really like the colors they use for Sheikah technology. Blue and orange. It makes them stand out. Otherwise, like, they do still have, like, a distinctive architecture to themselves, but the colors really, really help. Especially for this being an open world game. And now, the towers are activated. Distilling local information. I wonder, is that like an actual physical drop of magic? Or is it like a hologram more than anything? Could you swallow it? Beam all that information directly into your brain? Regional map extracted. There we go. Remember. Try to remember. How do you know that I've forgotten? You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> Which is very impressive. The ultimate yes. power nap. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. At least Calamity Ganon has all... Again, Calamity Ganon is a horrifying thing. At least it also... took, like... over a hundred years of resting, or at least being suppressed by Zelda. You must hurry, Link. You must hurry. Before it's too late. All the speedrunners took that to heart. I am not a speedrunner. I actually want to experience the game. And now, we shall make our way down. Slowly, so as to not die. But we have yet to attain... The ultimate thing, hang glider, wooden cloth. Ho! Oh! Oh! The real question is, where did you come from to get that height? My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. Also, you have to say, props to the ancient Sheikah technology, like, wireless network connecting all of them, unless they're connected underground. Which, that would be quite the network as well. Now, is this your first time or second? Technically, I've never beaten the game. So, overall, technically, this is my third, but I hardly remember my first. And, uh... Last time I played, I only got to Zora's Domain and beat the elephant. But I barely remember that, too. My memory is shot. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well, now, a voice, you say? I hope you're not insane. 
And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I have amnesia, so no. Hmm. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Oh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, you are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. We could just say, hand it over, but paraglider. <laughs> oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Where is the Z Link as a Rito Re Legend of Zelda game? The game that everybody wants. Hmm. Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The Isolated Plateau. Main quest! <laughs> After your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you leave the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said that he will give you the glider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location. Hmm. Come, let me show you something. It is kind of funny that they didn't even make a token, like, location for him to, like, paraglide down from. Go ahead and place that just because I can. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I like the design of the shrines. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Up off we go, but first we have to kill these guys. Wait, you'd think that they would at least make a, like, token effort to be like, Ah, oh, that's where the old man paraglided from. Surely. No, they're just like, He came from the lands beyond. No dancing. Darn it. Now they have weapons. We must kill them now. Ha! <laughs> you killed your friend! You idiot! You fool! You utter meringue! <laughs> I shall throw a twig at you! In celebration for your foolishness! And you missed. You were... You were the... Goofball goober of the group, weren't you? You threw a rock that killed your friend. And then, in your wild swinging to try and kill me, you didn't even hit me. I wonder what magic controls this. Like, 
what in Hyrule designates that? The power of the Bacoblin dancing together locks this chest. Ah, oh, we're being raided on Twitch. Hello, hello. We are playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as a break from Persona 3 because brain is dumb. And also because just like Breath of the Wild is just such a chill, chill thing. But thank you, thank you for the raid. I hope your stream was just as good out there on Twitch. But down we go. Into the shrine. I believe this is from magnetism, if the metal box is anything. But then again, who knows? Maybe it's just a metal box. Now we have a magical ruby that's not magical at all. Open sesame. I do now I wonder how many Sheikah slates there are. Or if there's only like one. <laughs> it was good. I was also exploring Breath of the Wild. Huzzah! Technically, I have like knowledge of Breath of the Wild. I played it a long, long time ago. Never beat it though. And it was so long ago that I just completely forget like most of the things. That's kind of one good thing about having a memory that isn't super great. I can re-experience things. Like, not super, super... Ah. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omenau. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Like, my memory isn't horrible. But, like, sometimes... Takes <laughs> time still takes its toll. Like it depends. Some things stick with me, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Granted, this game is an open world with lots of side quests, so it's possible that like the the core moments still stick with me. It'll just take a little bit of jogging. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. And now we can use runes. I do really appreciate that, like, how different Breath of the Wild is to other Zelda games, but at the same time, how similar it still is. Like, it's a big leap in a different direction for Zelda. Especially, like, for the 3D Zelda. But it's not, like, horribly, terribly different. Break the wall down! Let's see. I wonder if I can just push you off. Or just bash you with this. Get physics. The power of physics compels you. And plus, it just like opens up so many different like uh, puzzlings. Exactly the same. I sometimes have vague sense of danger, and suddenly a field boss will show up. My memory is probably not that good. But that is a funny little thing. Anyway, got a raid and run. It's late here and I need to head to bed. Well, uh, thank you for the raid and I hope that you rest well. Hopefully dreams of the raid bosses don't haunt you. And on YouTube chat, hi. Hello, hello. We finished our first shrine. It is a little bit disturbing that these guys are like, I don't know, implied to be alive. Just meditating eternally until we find them. They're just completely dehydrated. Waiting for me. <laughs> Feel sorry for all the dudes that, like, you don't find in a playthrough. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omenau, the creator of this trial. 
I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. And like the echoey, murmury voice in the background, kind of disturbing. Spirit Orb! A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Does that mean that anybody can challenge these shrines? And like I said, like, if you're not going for 100%, does that mean that in that universe, there are just a ton of monks technically still alive, just sitting there waiting for you? And they're like, well, I waited a hundred years, I can wait a bit longer. May the goddess Hylia smile upon you. Then just disintegrates into fairy dust and disappears. I know that I could turn on motion controls game, but I shall not. Motion controls just mess with me. Oh! Oh! Once again, from nowhere, he came from the sky. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. <laughs> or perhaps just something similar. If something similar to clairvoyance, does that still make it clairvoyance? As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that is not true for everyone. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. <laughs> I love that they give silly dialogue options. Paraglider, please. Again. Oh. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Which is another big hint that he, he is more than he seems. Because this Sheikah slate has been locked in the bunker for a hundred years. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. Oh, more like waiting for over 10,000 years. Actually, yeah, that makes sense because, like, these are, like, trials that were made with the ancient Sheikah technology. So, yeah, these would have to be the original Sheikah monks waiting thousands of years. Yeesh. So I guess, like, literally... Oh, what's a few more years? I've been here for a millennia. Except for that one that just becomes playable in Age of Calamity. He's like, I'm not going to meditate, I'm going to kill! I can't wait to play Age of Calamity again. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. For some reason, that just injected the thought into my brain, like... I'm, try I'm trying to think of how to word it. It would, al it would almost be like if, like, when the Europeans came to the continental America and the Native Americans were just like, we shall be your behind-the-scenes mystical advisors. That's, that's what it kind of feels like for the Sheikah. That would be an, like, if it weren't for the fact that that would be slightly racist to be like, ah, yes, the Native Americans, they're mystical and magical. Like, that would make for a dope alternate history fictional, like, book series. The American Empire, but instead of horribly, horribly war criming the natives, the Native Americans join together with the new people to form an ultimate empire. But that is escapist fan fiction of reality, isn't it? The great power of the... Well, we already read that one. I had to make sure, double check it. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think 
How something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine? Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. <laughs> you changed the deal. Pray that I don't change it more. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. <laughs> All things considered, you're hardly older than me. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a few tricks for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Oh, I got it. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at that map on your Sheikah slate. Ooh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Imagine if there was a game that was, ex like, gave you hints and stuff just like that. Oh yeah, I heard it worked this way. And then, like, some of them don't work that way. Because it's just like an in-universe guy telling you, Yeah, I heard it worked this way. Maybe it doesn't, and sometimes it just doesn't. Why would somebody put a rock in a chest? <laughs> Teleportation technology. How the hell was it lost? Like, in some ways it makes sense for, like, some technology to be lost. Like, Roman concrete, because that's something that's just, like, mixed. And people are just like, oh yeah, this is how we make the, the concrete. It's super simple. Like, that kind of makes sense for it to be lost. But, like... Teleportation facilitated by an iPad. How do you lose this? Battle tip. Murder the fuckers in their sleep. Meanwhile, old man doesn't even need technology to teleport. <laughs> I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. I can't believe it. The old man is the Flash. He's faster than teleportation. Did you fly here? <laughs> so you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Ooh. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Hm. Got it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. <laughs> Amber is tree sap. That's enough of a rock. Everything becomes rock eventually. Tree sap, living things, dead things, all become rock. Wrong thing indeed. I almost on instinct jumped thinking that I had the paraglider. That would have been very, very bad. That would have ended catastrophically. <laughs> Imagine the universe... Where the old king ghost is just watching. He's like, yes, that's over there. Use your scope to find it. Then Link just jumps off the, tr the, the tower and the king just watches. Oh, dear God. No. Hyrule is doomed. <laughs> the hero was insane. Huh? 
Now I wonder what kind of, like, glitches there are in this game. I know that there's, like, funny... What's the word? Physics. Like, physics stuff. That happens time to time. But I wonder if there's, like, uh... Weird glitches to get, like, the... Paraglider early and stuff. What kind of things exist? <laughs> yeah, that's right, basically how fossils are made. Although, if I recall correctly, fossils are more like... Different, like, sediment and silt and stuff. Get it, like, forming over the top of where, like, a body was. And that's why fossils are kind of rare. They're not actually the remains. They're the, like, recreation of the remains on under certain conditions. It's weird. I, I forget the specifics. <laughs> Holy shit, Breath of the Wild, says Twitch chat. Yep. I figured I would institute... A bit of a... Well, darn. I ruined the exploding. I don't think a normal arrow will cause explosions. Nope. I killed one. Ah, crap. Angry boy. How dare you hit me with an arrow? That is illegal! Up to, and I just died. I'm a fool. All because the explosion did not explode for I was a fool. And I don't think I saved, so that's bad. It has been forever since I played Breath of the Wild. So my combat is very, very rusty. <laughs> because this combat, you actually have to be on your toes a bit. It can actually get to you. This time, we will not smack it going flying. We'll let it explode and take out my enemies for me. Just as God intended. <laughs> I tried to stealth kill him while he was still running around. Give me your weapon. Your weapon is mine now. At least you don't do a lot of damage with your bare hands. <laughs> combine maybe bomb and arrow? I don't have any bombs. Also, I don't think you can combine stuff in Breath of the Wild like that. That's a Tears of the Kingdom thing. Get rid of a torch. I don't think I'll need a torch for a while. I'm certain that there's probably some side quests that require a torch, but usually they, like, give you that. Apparently these guys, they don't let his mind to be coming in, but they don't want me to leave. Give me your eyes. I guess we'll head to the... Oh, that's... Ah, I was like, huh, I wonder why there's an X there. Because I died there, that's why. Fairly certain. We'll go this way to get to this shrine. Find a way down that isn't a sheer cliff. Because we don't want to die. Oh, treasure chest of the lake. Give me shit. our way to the shrine. 
Of course, you're alive. How dare you? I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna... Goodbye! I do not have the health or shields to uh, play silly games of trying to reflect the laser. That is a far later suicidal venger. Down we go through magic elevator. I find it funny. This technology, it has like a uh, teleportation technology. And they're like, throw in an elevator. I guess they had to get down here to make the shrine anyway, so they're like, screw it, keep the elevator. Sets foot in the shrine. I am Ja Baij. Bomb trial. Is it Ja, Ya? Some other pronunciation? Also, you know, come to think of it. How widespread were the Sheikah Slates back in the day if they have runes that are basically apps that allow you to make bombs? Hello, everybody. This is my terrorism app. If you have amiibos, you can get stuff later. I do indeed. In fact, I have the... I only have four amiibos that I got at, like, the start of the Switch's lifespan. Smash Mario, Smash Link, Smash Pikachu, and uh, the Twilight Princess, Wolf Link, and Midna amiibos. Wait, because I have to... Completely. I have no idea how you whistle like that. I also do like the addition of Square Bomb. So that you don't have to worry about them rolling away. <laughs> Ooh, the wolf link will do something pretty cool. Yep. That's one of the few things that I definitely do still remember. It's such a cool thing. I'll have to actually use it. And I find it hilarious because it's like the biggest, like, uh, what's the word? Like, inspiration for fan fiction writers. So many of them, like use Wolf Link in the Breath of the Wild universe because why not? Uniqueness. Come back here, floating platform. Sheikah technology. It's advanced, but it's not smart. It doesn't know if somebody's on it or not. It's just been going back and forth for centuries. And now we use Round Bomb. Go forth, my round bomb. Have to play mild soccer with it. Kaboom! And yeah, we'll go over there and do that in a moment. Just want to fully clear. Launch to destroy more! Kaboom. I wonder how much fun they had designing all the shrines and different puzzles. Mine. I forget. This goes... Where does it go? Because I know I just need to launch myself to get that. Actually, yeah, where does this go? Does this go to anything, or is it just there to be a thing? Well, I guess I shall keep you here for a moment as I go get the chest. I say as I jump off in the completely wrong direction. And yet the apparatus shrines are the most loathed. If I remember correctly, those were like, uh, can be clunky and wonky. Especially the ones with motion controls. But yeah, I find it funny. But like... 
They have an activation ball, but... <laughs> Apparently nothing to activate with. <laughs> like... I don't know why, but that just seems weird. I, 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 okay, I think I get it. It's meant to be a test to be like, hey, ball go launch. You can do that with bombs. That's what it's there for. It's to test. It's to tell you. That's what it is. My big brain goes, there's an activation orb that has to mean something. The most basic thing. Yeah, it's to tell you that it launches things, idiot. I am a fool. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. It's spherical! Spherical spirit power! I don't know why, but the effect around the spirit orb there, just in this menu, it looks really nice. May the goddess smile upon you. I wonder how many different models there are for the Sheikah monks. Like, how many they made before they went, Yeah, that's enough. We can start repeating them now. Bomb. Let's see. What do I want to lose? Uh, we'll keep the woodcutter's axe for actually breaking down trees. Yeah, put on your head. Darn it. Ah, I was going to do the fancy thing of killing him with his head still on him. I wasn't fancy enough. <laughs> it's so funny that I played Tears of the Kingdom before I played this. I, like, that is one funny thing about video games. In like... Oh, that's very bad. Is the order you can like play released video games. How dare you throw things at me. Satan. Hmm. Could have sworn you could have one you could one shot these guys by hitting them in the head. Maybe I just suck that much. Ah, uh, not keys. Ah, there you are. I vaguely thought about treasure chests being on the wall. And it was there was one around here somewhere. I'm definitely not going to pick up all of them. All of these EX chests. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That's very bad! This is the graveyard of hell! Wait, I wonder how different it is to go from Tears of the Kingdom to this one. Because Tears of the Kingdom has... Many, many, many advanced and changed things. At least from what I've seen. I've yet to play that one. That's partially why I want to play Breath of the Wild, so then I can feel justified to go on to Tears of the Kingdom whenever I want. Mm, I forget... Because I know that we can get a warm doublet from the guy by making a fish curry or something. I need to get some fish and chili. Or like, uh, peppers. I'm gonna kill them while they sleep. I'm gonna kill them while they sleep. Why do evil forces of darkness even need to sleep? How dare you. Was I not sneaky enough for your sneaky club? I want to do fancy, but I am but a fool. And I shall pick up 
new buck hobbling stick. Yeah, 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 you're angry. I make you more angry. If only there was water. Or actually, bomb. A bomb can do. Bomb! The best way to get rid of bees! EXPLOSIONS! With the power of explosions, you will never need to fear bees again. The larger the mech guardian, the more legs they have. I'd hate to see, like, a 100-legged guardian. God forbid a two-legged guardian. For some reason, that brings to mind the idea of, like, a version of events where the Guardians just, like, became sentient, and it was like a, what's the word, a Matrix situation. We'll read his diary while he is right here, sleeping. Pretending to sleep, I guess. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. The recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish, I no longer have need of that itchy, warm doublet. Like, imagine if, like, that was an actual thing. If you could just create normal food, delicious food, and bam, it has effects on you, like, immediately. Surprisingly, my combat training from Tears of the Kingdom prepared me for these guardians. I could believe that. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. You know, right next to where he mentioned it. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper, however, I simply cannot remember what else I used. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on still. If I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. I shall steal your peppers. It would be hilarious if he just had all the ingredients to make his spicy seafood fry. We'll need to kill, like, a boar in the forest and do some fishing! More apples. And luckily, if we wanted, we can do the ultimate fishing. Dynamite fishing. <laughs> Through the power of bombs, we go fishing. Or bird? Hmm, I don't know if bird would suffice. Maybe. Die. We must sneak up upon them. They will never know what hit them. And if they notice me, I'll throw a bomb. Worry not! Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Bomb! How dare you block that? You're a bacoblin. That's illegal. <laughs> I missed. I'm the bacoblin now. I wanted to be fancy, but I failed. That's gonna be m the majority of my deaths, I think. I'm gonna be fancy! Completely fails, wipes out, and dies. <laughs> Bomb fishing is a old-fashioned trick. The new trend is Pika fishing. Through the power of this Pikachu, we shall murder these fish. Give me this. Yeah. 
It might be a throwing spear, but we'll use it for poking. Go, my bum. Open the way to open sesame. I wasn't even... How dare you do damage to me. Die. I killed myself. I just wanted the honey. I need to make proper saves more. I keep dying, for I'm a fool. So far, I have died to my bad aim with a bow because I failed to cause the explosion in the first place. And now bees. For some reason, I just really want to press A for all my throwing. Well, let's see. The power of this beehive is impeccable. It has survived a bomb blast. We need to build our buildings out of it. But who hasn't blown themselves up at least once before? I think it's basically a rite of passage in, like, every video game. You need to, like, blow yourself up. And then you know you've made it. If there is a way to blow yourself up in a video game, you will. Hello, bird. We shall sneak up upon this beetle. Hello, dear beetle. Wrong thing. Need to get controls down. Ah, I was gonna shoot you. Let's see. Wrong button. Wrong button again. Because it is fish, meat, and pepper. And we do have, like, a, a drumstick. So we might as well try. Let's see how it goes. Ba -ba -ba! <laughs> Spicy meat and seafood fry. Bird does work. Neat. Because while bird legs are a different item in cooking, they seem to make the same dishes that standard raw meat does. Neat! That's very cool. I'll need to keep that in mind. Hey, old man! I have food! <laughs> oh, fancy that, so we meet again. I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give it a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. We both know you have no bones, old man. We both know that is a lie. Can I have the doublet? <laughs> Wonderful. Go ahead and take some of that wood for yourself. Don't be shy now. Hmm. What is it? Bye. <laughs> we'll probably have to wait for him to get back to his place to be like, food. Or maybe I need to hold it in my hands. I don't know. It's been a while. We'll go ahead and make the land, well, the tree bridge. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, old man. We'll wait for him to sit down. <laughs> Sadly, you can't hold out meals. What is it? This body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I can have an empty pot. You can use it to cook yourself. I cooked something. 
Huh. Wait, is that? That looks just like my signature of perfect dish, spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you? Well, I suppose that is not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Huh? <laughs> of course, Hyrule Bass. How could I have forgotten? Hmm. Well done. Now, please allow me to reward your culinary efforts with this warm doublet. Now I have proper clothes, part mm. one. With that, you'll be able to resist the bite of colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe, so I can do without that warm doublet. I know it's like a part of your act, but... If anybody actually went... I wrote down... Like the specific recipe, then on the next page. Oh no, I forgot the specific recipe. I would definitely worry for you. I guess we'll go ahead and pick it up so that it's just like unlocked as a thing that we know. Carefully walk across the beam of wood. The rudimentary bridge. Bomb! Let's see. Da, da, da. Face me! No. That one was so excited to die, it did a flip. And yet, so many players never got this doublet, so they uh, raced cold resistance timers with sauteed spicy pepper meals. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I like exploring, but I always get the doublet. Always. Plus, I also like, like, having it as just, like, a thing to wear. I like This is fashion souls to me. I like getting more clothes. Or armor as it is. But yeah, that's kind of weird to me. That people can, like, miss it. Or just, like, intentionally go out of their way not to do it. It's so simple. <laughs> I just missed it on my playthrough. That is the one downside to, like, having a open-world game, I suppose. You can't really put everything in a line and expect people to make it through, I guess. We're gonna climb... Climb all the way to the top. Ba ba ba. We're gonna climb all the way to the top. Ba ba ba. I guess while we cry, uh, while while we climb, no, that comes later. But while we climb, I shall ramble on a bit. Things like I can't wait to get to Tears of the Kingdom to experience. Like, what they updated and changed. Because I don't really know all that much about Tears of the Kingdom. I know you can make mechs and hover bikes and stuff. I know Ganondorf returns. Because of trailers. And apparently there's, like, an underground part. But that's, like, all I know. It was pretty damn rewarding getting to the shrine, though, without the warm doublet. I can imagine that. In a way, it's like an unintentional challenge mode. But as we climb, more rambling. Some of the games I've been playing recently on my own time, one of them is uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Like, amusingly, like, I never really had all that much trouble with the game when it first came out, even though I know that it was severely broken for, like, 90% of people. And even then, the opening cutscene still has people... Uh, or, like, not opening opening cutscene, but, like, the main montage cutscene after the initial opening segment still has people T-posing for a shot. Which is ever so slightly disappointing and silly. Such is the world of video games. Durability is still a thing in Tears of the Kingdom, but you have a means to repair gear this time. That's neat. I know that a lot of people really disliked the durability system, but I didn't mind it all that much. 
It could get in the way occasionally, but compared to other games, durability never really affected me in Breath of the Wild. Then again, it's been a bit since I played, so maybe that'll change, and this will be the playthrough where I go, Oh, God damn it! My favorite weapon died! Also in Twitch chat, honestly, I like the durability system. Just wish it was a bit better. That's kind of what I feel like. It's not a terrible system. It just has a few little issues here or there. Otherwise, I think it fits this game. Like, I wouldn't want, like, a durability system in, like, Twilight Princess or Ocarina of Time, but... Right here, it works. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Oa Diam. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer you this trial. Imagine if you were just, like, a normal schmuck. You came through, you died in a... <laughs> you died in a, a trial like this. Does the monk just go... Well, I guess I'll take your soul and turn it into another spirit orb for the next person. It's like, <laughs> pass and double it. <laughs> well, the mentality of players made it so that if there was an infinite durability weapon but only had two attack, people would stop using all other weapons. <laughs> that would be amusing, though. They'd be sitting there slapping the bosses for hours on end, and they're like, at least I'm not using durability. It was kind of whack. Like, if you get one op weapon that never breaks, the game would get super easy. Yeah, because the game is, like, built around durability. It's d designed with it in mind. Stop the flow of time for an object. Stasis. Like, that reminds me, in a way, of uh, Infinite Lives in, like, uh, other games. Like... Because, like, uh, when it comes to infinite lives in some games, I find it to just be, like, a crutch to justify bad game design, like a Spyro a Hero's Tale. It felt like they put uh, infinite lives in that game just so they didn't have to properly balance some of the boss fights. But durability here, it just feels like an interesting design decision because it fits the theme of the game to me. Because it means that, like, you're constantly going to be moving around trying to find things. And, like, the world has fallen into disrepair, so... In a way, it kind of makes sense for... Most anything to, that you use as violently as weapons, shields, and bows... To actually be, like, uh, destroyed... Like, it makes sense, and how it's implemented doesn't bother me all that much. But I do on Like, it's not like a... How to word this. But I do admit that it isn't, a, like, a perfect system. Like, if people dislike it, I understand why. I can understand if people don't enjoy the durability system. And uh, them adding the ability to repair makes perfect sense as, like, a middle ground. So that the durability system is still there, but there's it, they, like, iterated on it. Well, most win if you insist on durability, then at least... Make it so a fresh weapon doesn't break after five swings. Maybe. But at the same time, the game throws weapons at you a lot of the time. And it kind of makes it so you have to, like, pick and choose your fights a bit more. But I can, again, I can definitely understand, like, the arguments against it. But I kind of see it from a Dark Souls difficulty perspective. Where it's like, sure, they could have majorly changed it so it was minimal, but then it wouldn't be the same afterwards. 
Much like if you gave Dark Souls a difficulty setting. Although, hilariously, I think most FromSoft games do have difficulty. It's just that, uh, you can only make it harder by finding certain things. Which is amusing to me. Thank you, dead monk man. Imagine the willpower you have to have to sit there for millennia just so you don't break apart into spectral dust. Tears of the Kingdom and Fusing made durability pretty good in my opinion. I can definitely see that because that then, like again, iterates on it and makes it, like, more interesting because that way you have, like, all of these things just lying around, and then you can fuse them together. So, that just having all the items strewn around, durability, and fusing, it's just like, it feeds into itself pretty well, conceptually. We shall walk along the mountain tops. Find a place to jump down because I don't want to die to gravity this early. I've already died twice! How did that not kill me? Somehow, I am not dead just yet. But I also like that they made weather important. Like you have to pay attention to hot or cold for the most part. But I found it tolerable due to my sneaky bonk style, influenced by the Metal Gear Solid series. <laughs> I haven't played that many Metal Gear Solid games. I've only ever played Metal Gear Solid 1 a long, 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 long time ago. And uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Hmm, I forget, like, uh... You're not going to come live and smoke me, are you? Good, you're dead, so I don't have to worry. Pick up the wood. The power of the wood. I wonder if that's there for the people that didn't, like, uh, get the warm doublet. They're like, fine, here, you can make just, like, a row of campfires to make your way. Well, let me see, because if I remember correctly, well, there is something that can be picked up. I thought there could, was, like, a, a metal door used to bridge. Maybe it flowed away. Oh, there's another chest over there, too. My chest! <laughs> then you so need to try Metal Gear Solid 3. I definitely do. I do want to play Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid uh, 3. And Metal Gear Solid 4. I also played uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, now that I come to remember it. I, I'm still sad that so much was cut from that game, because Konami were jerks. I find it funny that I have, like, seemingly a very eclectic... What's the word? Selection of Metal Gear games that I've played. I played the first solid game. Not the first one, because that's still technically the... What is it? The... Uh, I forget what they're called. But like a Japanese computer system. And there were two games made on that. And then like recreated versions for America that were bastardizations to a degree. And then like the NES game. Have you ever punched a chest in this game? I think sometime, I forget. I do like the... Just, like, tons of... Different opening animations, depending on, like, orientation and, like, what armor you're wearing. It's, it's very nice. Be gone, choo-choos. Your slime is mine. Do, 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 do. 
That reminds me that a new Indiana Jones game is coming out. I think made by the same people who made, like, the recent Wolfenstein games. So, of course, they get to make incredibly stupid, funny, wacky little Nazi guys. Which is the only way to write Nazis. As stupid idiots to be laughed at. And then here is the door bridge, but we want to save that after we invade this place. Because it should be like a rope tying up the, the door or well, ramp. No music in class today. Your heads are so inconsistent. I want to headshot you. I guess I hit your shoulder there. I guess I hit your spinal column there. Well, fine. I'll... I'll come in and murder you myself. Go flying. No cheerleaders allowed. Let's see. No. No sword for you. My sword. As I take your guts for my own. Hmm. But that just happening reminded me uh, more of the conversation. I wonder exactly what weapons people were complaining were breaking quickly. Oh no. My twig broke in three hits. Well, yeah, it's a twig. Oh no, my Bacoblin blocker. My, my Bacoblin bonker broke in three hits. Well, yeah, it's Bacoblin made. And it's just a stick, but thick. It's a thick ass stick, Billy. It was like some weapons make sense to have broken compared to others more quickly. I wonder why they decorated it. Do Bacoblins have culture? More amber. And more arrows. The perfect gift for a Link. What kind of gifts would Link want? He's an amnesiac. Doesn't even know how to save the world. I have to orient myself to properly make this here bridge. Ah, uh, dang it. Not the skeletons. We'll put on at least a spear. For reach, I guess. <laughs> the spear is so powerful, it almost sent the whole door bridge flying. Ah, that's interesting. There's technically a top to, th to it when it's flat like this. Interesting. Hopefully that's good enough. I wonder how long this bridge has been here. Fall into disrepair. Let's see. That's another thing I wish we could do, craft basic arrows. That would be very nice, but then also probably slightly abusable. Because, like, in a way, resource management's the name of the game when it comes to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. But I guess, like, for Tears of the Kingdom, that would have made more sense to have, like, uh, craftable arrows, just like basic arrows. Like, for Breath of the Wild, makes sense not to. For Tears of the Kingdom, probably would have been a nice quality of life addition. We walk along. Somehow my ankles are not cold. I have the strongest ankles in the world. 
not the snowballs. Who even sent them after me? Okay, we gotta sneak up slowly because these guys have precognition and wake up if I get too close. Prepare to die. How dare you wake up? That's illegal in 50 states! I guess they listened to System of a Down's Chop Suey. Because <laughs> nothing sucks more than facing a Hinox without arrows. I don't even know what I'd do. I'd probably just run away and come back when I got arrows. Or God forbid if it was like a mandatory one. Yeah, this is definitely a do the... Do the shrine first. Imagine if there was somebody who was like had the, I'm gonna fight the tree sentinel the first time I lay eyes on him in Elden Ring mentality, and they saw that chest. And they're like, I'm gonna get that chest before I go into that shrine. That would actually be an interesting challenge run, where if you lay eyes on something, you have to do it right then and there. So you're just trying to avert your eyes from things like there might be a thing over there, so I can't do it. If anything is slightly a challenge and you lock eyes with it, Pokemon trainer time, you've got to fight. Even if it's the, the elements, even if you're not supposed to yet, you got to try. Kenamut. I wonder if there's any duplicate monk names out of like the... What, hundreds of shrines? Surely there's got to be at least one duplicate. Like, this is Matt, and this is Matt 2. I wonder how much power it takes to do the cryosis. Cryonis. To freeze water and raise it from the surface of the water. Like, that takes some serious levels of power. And the iPad can just do it. They just don't make Sheikah slates like they used to. Because they don't make them at all. Ah, great. Teeny tiny little man. Get back here and let me kill you. I have a spear. Now die. Fun thing, I think some of the monks are named after the devs. Ah, like rearranging the the name, or like the letters in a name. That's fun. Well, darn it, now I have to come here and do this. Gotta get all the chests that I can. Just hope that those don't break as I come along. Traveler's Spear. Really? I think that's worse than a Bacoblin Bonker. My basic Bacoblin Bonker. Oh, mighty monk, with the triangle off to the side. Give me your spirit orb. And that is now four. Four spirit orbs. And now I believe that, uh, old man hang glider is gonna come for me again. Spears are always low in power, but makes up for it with range and fast attacks. That makes sense. I just prefer, like, swordish weapons, because then I can have, uh, shield.
But I guess for mopping up Bacoblin spears might be good. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs and the shrines on this plateau. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Extraordinary. <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. And he just disappeared like a freak. We all wish we had such power. Do -da -da -do. I'll make a third, just in case. Don't want to touch the evil water of death. Do -da -da -do. Like poking an elemental choo-choo just outside of its death blast. Huh. I always just shot him with arrows. But I guess having a dedicated uh, choo-choo stabber would be nice. <laughs> but I find it funny that, like, all you have to do is connect the line between two of them. I wonder where it could be. Where in the world could we possibly go? Yeah, I guess we'll go back to the Shrine of Resurrection so we can bomb out that one place then head to the Temple of Time. From YouTube chat. Alright, Neon, now they have four spirit orbs. I vote for choosing a heart container. Maybe. It's this careful balance where you want heart containers for survival, but you also want stamina to be able to do things. To do all the things. Especially because, if I recall, you need a certain number of heart containers to get the Master Sword. I think there's like a glitch you can do to get the Master Sword with less hearts, but eh, that seems like work. I don't like using glitches unless it's for, like, annoying parts of games. Like if I play the game and it decides to be annoying, then I'm like, fine game, I torture you. That's kind of like why I don't like to overly mod games that I play. Like, when I mod games, I just want them to, like, add things, not change, like, core game aspects too much. Although that, uh, depends game to game. Like, uh, in Cyberpunk 2077, one thing they did that annoyed me was in the 2.0, like, uh, version update, it was a big, 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 big update... One annoying thing they did was they removed the capability to have silencers on revolvers. Which, on one port, yeah, I kind of know that it was done for, like, balancing reasons. But I, that was my favorite playstyle, silenced revolvers sneaking, and they took it away from me. From YouTube chat. Prioritize hearts for main story, but prioritize... Uh, I cannot speak today. Prioritize... Well, the sun's up. Will you uh, disappear into vanishness soon, skellies? I was reading chat. How dare you? Vanquish in the morning light. But prioritize hearts for main story, but prioritize stamina for exploration and side adventures. So basically, like, get a good amount of hearts and then start, uh, Stacking up on stamina once I feel safe. That one's about to break anyway. Yeah. I shall replace it with a bonk. 
though with the DLC it can favor stamina initially, as the uh, Phantom set is pretty strong, uh, a pretty strong set since it's pre-leveled. Mm. I went all that way and I could have gotten a good pair of trousers all the way at the beginning. I am a fool. Maybe I wouldn't have died twice if I had these pants. Hello, corpse. Give me your spring. Even though that kind of doesn't look like a spring, but maybe it is a spring. I need to get a closer look at it at some point to judge its spring validation. I wonder how many games the Temple of Time has been in. I know it's named after, like, Ocarina of Time. I think. It would be kind of funny if there was a game before Ocarina of Time, and they're like, well, we'll have a temple. What should we call the temple? The Temple of Time. And that'd be potentially funny. No. How dare you hit me. I am the one who hits. I like the enemies that supply me with more bonking power. And now, we live up to the links of the past. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Although the lack of rupees is saddening. But there were arrows. Each piece of the phantom set sporting eight defense, the equivalent of most armor leveled up twice. That's interesting. But considering that I don't want to overly look at guides, I'm gonna, I think I'll start with hearts. Primarily. Because, uh... Then maybe... At some point, mid-game, I might go, let's try and find all the EX chests. Hello, giant statue of a god. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. Give me a heart container, because I've been dying a lot like a fool. I shall grant you the power you seek. I like the design of the heart containers in this game. Kind of ornate, even if it is just a heart clad in gold. A heart clad in gold lingerie. Heart container. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum hearts by one. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. <laughs> he screamed at me. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here, quickly. So from Twitch chat? Well, in my case, I was influenced by Tears of the Kingdom first as I favored mobility over life. Hmm, that makes sense. I think for this game, it's mostly climbing, gliding, and then riding. I believe. In YouTube chat, you can beat the game without upgrading your stamina, but you cannot beat the game without upgrading hearts. Well, yeah, because you need to get the blah 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 the master sword, and that requires hearts. A lot of enemies can kill you with one hit. Yep. I would prioritize hearts until you get the master sword, and then you can start getting more stamina. I just have to make note of like, let's see. I wonder how many, or if I can at all. Yeah, I have like a hundred stamps, so I should mark things like, hey, thing here, go do that. And use that to mark places that I want to explore once I have stamina for it. Alright. 
Give me some of that sweet, sweet exposition, beard baby. I don't even have to well do the voice done, acting for this one. part. Now then, Tears of the, the Kingdom doubled your stamp capacity. That makes sense. It's like double the game. Am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. That is kind of harsh. <laughs> you just have like ghostly transformation powers. The great calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So you knew my memory so would be bad. than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. I mean, you set up a whole thing Forgive with a hut, axes, a I diary. You, are now ready. you were dedicated. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Such a jiggly beard. The to jiggle the physics we all deserve. Form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends. It's still an interesting tales. design for the hero. But there was also with like red hair a prophecy. And either blue armor or blue body. Probably armor because it's the same color as the sword. Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered Man, several ex excavation would have taken a long time with that level of technology. Ancestors. <laughs> we only sent These the Sheikah for excavation. Beasts were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was I a really princess like the music that's to playing in this the section. Power, there was a little more skill there. Knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. And thus I bullied my daughter, my daughter a lot. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. Ravali for life. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. And then calamity. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. I, he doesn't really look like one that has a plan. So him to have a plan at all is pretty impressive. Or maybe you you guys sadly sucked. Then again, I guess, like what, 10,000 years of waiting? Even an animal would go, Deep below thing that did me in last time, gotta get rid of it. control of the guardians and the divine beasts. Turn them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The night, gravely elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. She's the only reason Me. anything worked well. You are our final hope. Ah, so Link is Obi-Wan Kenobi in this world.
princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since A very, very slow revitalization. Herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once it's been a hundred years. It's impressive Ganon it's lasted this long. regenerate himself. And nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow. Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. Meanwhile, all the speedrunners. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Very well, old man ghost man. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. The classic music. The isolated plateau complete. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. <laughs> I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save. Hyrule. Well, goodbye, ghost man. Have to do away with one of these little bows. Get myself a better bow. For war. From Twitch chat, howdy. How are we doing today? I am doing quite nice. I decided to take a small break from Persona. Let me revitalize myself, because I just found myself missing a lot more streams than usual. And I figured, let's try something slightly different, just to... I don't know, revitalize myself a little bit. Hmm. I might try and go over there. Activate that one. Before heading out, let's see, where's the the dueling pass? He pointed at it. There you are. Because I knew there was one next to the dueling pass. And like there seems to be one there. Hmm, so maybe we might try that one? Because <laughs> my Ubisoft in uh, instincts have been activated. And I want to go, like, must complete the towers. Must complete the towers. That's how it goes. Glad to hear, and we revitalizing the Link after a hundred years. I do find it funny, because really, they could have just gone the depressing route and, like, have Link just reincarnate. It is kind of funny that, like, we were here a hundred years ago. They threw me in a revitalization chamber. But, like, imagine if you, like, Breath of the Wild, but you played as a Link who grew up in this destroyed world. 
and you're told, yeah, your predecessor, who was also kind to you, he failed. You have to do better. Doesn't seem to be any fish or meat. Well, yeah, there's some fish. Bomb fishing! The ultimate way of fishing. So basically Fallout 4? No, I don't think so. Depending on, like, what's being responded to. Because to me, Fallout 4 isn't really go out and uh, activate the towers. I guess it is kind of activate the villages, like creating towns and stuff, but for me, it's all Ubisoft. Gotta activate the towers to activate my map power. Come to me, forest spirit. Give me currency for upgrades. Upgrados. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Let's see. Can we? We can. Mine. For some reason, these being just like stone chests with like a metal rim. Like, I don't know. Just seems odd to me. And with that out of the way, we shall now make our way to that one tower that way because it's right nearby there are 15 towers in total and i'm definitely not going for all of them immediately just the ones that are kind of in the vicinity i can kind of run to i'm not gonna mess with you just yet I think I hear a Korok, ch uh, yeah, a Korok chime. Well, that could just be ambience. It's hard to tell. Can't trust my brain too often. <laughs> Two Koroks out of 997 more. Yep, not going for all the Koroks either. I'm not that insane. Reward ain't worth it. I am not a completionist madman. If completion is relatively within, like, scope, I might go for it, but typically completion isn't something I yearn for. Oh, the whole waking up post-apocalyptic world? Kinda, but that's also... In a way, Fallout 1 to a degree, Fallout 3 to a degree. Probably like a lot of things. A lot of like, uh... Like, there's a lot of stories that are like, Ah, you are from the past. It's the future now. Shit sucks. There's a lot of stories that are just like that. I guess we can do that shrine along the way. Let's see, is there a... Uh, that's just a... I guess a way to get on there. I summon the rusty chest. Give me treasure. Surely you must have heard of the many torture methods Torture of the uh, Tears of the Kingdom players did to the Koroks in Revenge. Yep, definitely heard about that. No idea how to get this one. Oh, I just I I had it and it just slipped through my fingers. Not again.
Guess we'll sneak up on these guys for ingredients. Like, the one EX chest I might look up, might, maybe, I'll just run towards it, it's right in view, is, uh, the Midna Helmet one. That's the one I really, really like. Because Midna is best Zelda ally. We'll go save the humans. Even if he's... He'll just get, like, knocked out. Die, beast! Let's see. Darn it. <laughs> its weapon went in a direction I did not expect it to. No. Don't allow me to... Spiky boot! Darn. I wanted to block. I did not block fast enough. Let's see. I'll just smack you to death. Should probably eat some apples. Probably should have made some baked apples. I need to cook more in this game, but I am a fool. Let's see, drop you, pick up you. And da-da. I saved you. How are you? We're all right. We should count ourselves lucky for that. <sighs> Thank highly that Mina is safe. I knew it was the smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Indeed, it is not. But there are dangers in this world. What good is treasure if you're dead? For me, I wanted Majora's Mask. That's also a good one. Let's see. There you are. Almost lost track of you, shrine boy. I cannot bring myself to kill foxes. Foxes are too nice and cute. They are friend in da da da. Ghost of Tsushima. And down we go. Let us see what this shrine has to offer. Calm your talk. We shall take over your shrine. When you mention foxes, the Bokos will actively hunt them. I think they actively hunt, like, most, like, uh, animals. But that just goes to show how fiendish they are. Open sesame! One is very speedy. Ah, oh, no. It's all the hell demons. Ah, oh, but that's not good at all. It's your actual weaponry. And I hit myself. But now the melee minions must come through hell, and you went through because you're a you're a little mean man, aren't you? Of course, you make it through without a care in the world. There's nothing good in the world. All right, get away from the edge. Move. Come on. Damn it! Your wep. Oh nope, these weapons right here. I was gonna say, you dare spite me? Leave me without a weapon of goodness? How dare you? They actively punt bombs if they see it too. That's kind of neat. Enemy AI that's aware 
Edge of Duality, a very powerful sword. I believe it's two-handed. What is worth getting rid of? I guess the axe. Because I don't... I don't think we need to worry about precision. Getting... Yeah. That's handy. Go forth, giant boulder. Make way for me. As I hope that there's no evils around the corner. Who needs arrows when you have an axe to throw? I completely forgot the big sword. Is there anything else that I want to throw? I guess one of the traveler swords. For a big, big, big one that I say for emergencies. So we shall put on just a traveler sword. Keep my heavy hitters for heavy hitting situations. We shall blow these up because we can. Hopefully I didn't need them. Yes! Pulled just one away. Bonk. Ow. At least these ones like to poke and not sweep. Get out of here. I'll take the guardian spear. The bombs are very easy to just go, ah, I'm just gonna use them, explode. Let's see. Get smacked by Bacoblin Tech. Man, I just bullied you. Just bullied that one. I believe this is a hold you in place. Run across. Wait a second. <laughs> like I, I, I wanted to test it out. It was like, oh, it didn't move all that much. <laughs> Suddenly moved, yes, much. Afterwards, but after I get across, I will go ahead and preemptively activate it so my thing can ball 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 because it's this. I wanted to check this out, but it seems to be later on. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't like an optional thing. You never know. My optional worry brain activates, and I go, but wait, what if that door? What if it is optional? And then the fear activates. And then I just have to know. Time for gyro controls. Yeah. Yeah. At least I got rid of all the boxes I missed. I am a fool. There we go. For some reason, it's very awkward to do that with, like, the Pro Controller. Feels like. Ancient Core. I have an ancient CPU. No more little... Bastards. I believe, yeah, we can light on fire shoot. I think we can, yeah, also do that. 
I so hated these gyro shrines. Definitely understandable. Oh. I have to flip it. With timing. Darn you, the timing was against me. Light delay on button activation. Mess with my mind. Time for bombing. <laughs> I do find it funny that, like, the first shrine I find, compared to the tutorial ones, has just all this stuff. It's so much more in depth. Let's see. What do we want to mac? Ma <laughs> what do we want to mac with? Nah. We're gonna whack. Booyah. Well, I guess I can get rid of this Traveler's Sword and just get this Guardian Spear. Only 10 damage, but that's some 10 good damage. Yeah, sorry, Monk, but there's a treasure chest I need to grab. And a diamond! Huzzah! Oh, now I have to smack it to bring it back down. I feel like if you just lightly touch that as it went down, uh, it went down like that would basically be like a buzzsaw. Wow. and get some high-end weapons from it too your resourcefulness gives you spirit orb power i wonder what, what like the optimized heart to stamina pattern is like do you alternate get heart get stamina get heart get stamina do you beeline one, down one before doing the other there's probably some scientific What's the word? Like, charted... Path. Now we will continue... Ah! <laughs> Teleportation rumors. Somehow I've heard rumors, and we've only spoken to two people. We need to be careful of that motherfucker. Phantasma. Ancient horse. Hmm. So I forget what the main deal with this shrine is. If it's just like... You have to worry about all the... Oh, I saw the shiny. Oh, no. I'm going to want to try and get the shiny, aren't I? What was that? Pain and misery. Oh, no. <laughs> I ran out of stamina. <coughs> Son bitch. This is hell. Oh, this is very mean. Go away! At least that one wandered away now. Well, actually... Oh no, just wandered closer. That's stupid. Game. Why do you have one that wanders next to this one? God, fuck off! Oh, 
Probably shouldn't have jumped. Okay. Yeah, go away. I sneak now. Go home. Twilight Relic, that's the one you seek since you mentioned Midna. I'll keep that in mind. All right, now I just need to worry about like two or three ones. Uh, somehow I still made it. Just gotta be super careful. Yeah. Yeah. I have enough stamina to make this tower. Yeah. That was close. It's almost like these things are just like Oh, well that's the bad way. But it's almost like Calamity Ganon knew that this would be an important place. Oh, get so close. So dangerous. So like Calamity Ganon sent all the guardians here to guard this tower. Activate tower power. And then... Considering that this is like the most guardian infested place, I'm so sad that the falling star thing fell deeper into the territory. Give me that map power. Through the power of map, we gain knowledge. Or at least our iPad does. Regional map extracted. Additional functionality detected. And what is that functionality? Ah, Sheikah sensor! Nice. I can't wait to upgrade that because I do remember that getting upgrade. And from here, you're actually pretty close to Majura's Mask. Hmm. Well, I don't see, like, the shining of the fallen star. I do see that bastard just wandering about. Mm -hmm. I think I shall refrain from going deeper. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty far in, so we shall... Delete you, and so we can use our stamps for other things. I'll try and see if there are any, like, vi visible shrines down this way. Let's see, because we are aiming for you. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be any visible ones... Super visible. More interesting facets. There's the plateau. We're kind of looking to see. I think there's like a golem boss around there. There's the bridge. Hmm. I kind of want to... You know what? I think I'll teleport back to here and we'll make our way to their... From the Great Plateau Tower. Because I just think that's nice. Let's see what we run along there. And also, that means I don't have to worry about being chased by a guardian just yet. Again. But that doesn't kind of count because I was running away from it to a tower. And it got bored and left me.
<laughs> now I just had the thought of like a mod, like Breath of the Wild, but you're constantly being chased by one singular immortal guardian. I think that could be fun. I probably should have looked for shrines along the path. <laughs> That's just scary mode. <laughs> I know there's like a... a super hard mode from the DLC. I have never played it. And, uh, like, casually probably won't. But who knows? Maybe in the far off future. I'll do that. I need to cook these apples. Gotta scavenge all of these. Because I think they are, like, very good late-game upgrade stuff. Or at least there's late-game uses for them that are very important. Let's get rid of these Bacoblin. Kim's Geen doing something and out of nowhere the Guardian music plays. You're just trying to manage your inventory and now... Uh, oh, shrine. Apparently there's a shrine this way. I hear noise beyond the beep beep. Did you try to fucking murder me up there, you motherfuckers? I'll come to murder your mum. Which I guess in this case would be... I guess Calamity Ganon and the Moon. No. I can't believe the slime conspired against me. Be gone, slime. You do not belong in this world. There should be a shrine this way. Breath of the Wild is so chill, you know, beyond the Guardians. I do indeed miss, like, classical. I think I have just enough stamina. Oh. I'm being chased by a child. Be gone, Satan. But I think I should have just enough stamina if I do it normally. I'll come back to kill you, small rock child. Don't you worry. But yeah, if I don't use jumps or leaps, I think I have just enough stamina to get up there. Takes a little bit. But man, just imagine the grip strength. Silence. I'll be there in a moment to kill you. But honestly, I'm surprised how easy it is to get rupees in Breath of the Wild compared to Tears of the Kingdom. Huh. But why are you up here? Fucker! Why? How'd you get up there? You a rock? You bitch! Huh. Fine, then. Sledgehammer prepared. God, I wish I could make bomb arrows. Like, either that or I could just get up there, place bomb, and run. Pesky Geodude. Indeed. But yeah, I do not remember there being one of these guys up here. 
Could be I just never got up here before. But I could have sworn that I did. Uh, there you go. Get out of here, you freak. I'll get your treasure and then I'll go get the other treasure. How'd he get up there? That's exactly what I was saying. I have never seen that. I think I would remember jokesy little ha ha ha. We put a golem child at the top of the tower. God, imagine if this entire tower was a golem, like a golem mimic, and it just sprouted arms. It's like, ah, you got on my platform? I'm gonna kill you. And just started swatting at you. Boss fight out of nowhere. I was half worried that that would be my second enemy death. I guess we'll head up there to get like a bit of a better thing, but probably the shrine is down there. So we'll go up there, see about, head back to the bridge before making our way down. Making our way downtown. Flying fast. But we also probably are going to run into a golem. You know, a big one. Where there's tiny golems, there's probably big golem. Hey there, dragonflies. Don't get too far away. I want you for ingredients. Why did it feel you were closer than you are? And you all vanish. False advertising, dragonflies. <laughs> well, stables are always an indicator of a shrine. Hmm. Did not know that. If I do believe, Korok. Your face is ugly. Give me the upgrade material. Smack. Ah, there you are. <laughs> it was hiding behind a cliff. I think this is also a Korok thing, either that or hell. And again, what's the difference? Give me your power. I like how they just have, like, environmental things. You can just look and be like, yep, there's a Korok around here. Get out here, you little shit. Luckily, they gave me plenty of rocks. For some reason, this reminds me of the god game Black and White. Motherfucker. I wish there was like a reticle for throwing rocks. Oh, that's way off. Would have been hilarious if that was the one that hit. <laughs> it is always too far to the left and the right. Hell. To the left, to the left, to the right. Shit, I fall. And it didn't even hit. Right at the moment that I almost fall to my... idea. Might not work. But might work. Let's see if we can cheese it. To the power of cheese! It's the time that I did it legit.
This is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We do not do things legitimately here. Well, I guess, hopefully this won't be a battle shrine. Please don't be a battle shrine. I completely forgot that battle shrines existed until I thought, oh, I'm like at half health. Well, surely I can do a shrine unless it's a battle shrine. Then things might go badly. I could eat more apples, but I want to save them and make baked apples. Through the power of baked apples, I will survive. But not because I'd have no... None of them. Well, that doesn't sound like Battle Shrine. Ah! Weaned! <laughs> if it works, it works. Boshkala. But yeah, if it works, it works is basically any kind of puzzle. It doesn't matter if it's intended or not. If you solve the puzzle with it, it works. Watch me fly, daddy! And then that's the... Oh, I screwed up. I need to go back. Way, I think. Well, I screwed up. Or did I? I can make it! My treasure chest! Be rupees! It's a soldier's claymore. Ah, oh, apparently I had room for it. Didn't know that. I just really appreciate Breath of the Wild, but it really does make me go, I need to play more Legend of Zelda games. I need to play Ocarina of Time again, Twilight Princess, actually beat it, and now, <laughs> at this point, Wind Waker. Maybe more of the 2D games. Need to give them a shot, too. <laughs> this monk is the most, like, waiting for you to arrive pose. He's just like, God damn it, when's that hero gonna get here? I hit a combat shrine I wasn't ready for. That must be painful. Because you're like, I can do it! And then you can't. You're using resources that you might not get back. For some reason, my brain just went, what if out of the resurrection chamber did not come Link, but instead came Frisk, the Undertale protagonist. Yeah, 3k HP that can one-shot me with any move. That sounds like a nightmare. Let's see. Well, I guess I'll start poking things with spirit spears. East Post Ruins. Fly, bird, save yourself. Or maybe I could go over there. More Korok? Why is there just a treasure chest floating downstream? Well, I can make it there anyway. Well, first I want to see. What is on the bridge? The birds respawned, I guess. Well, there's a guy. Let's talk to the guy. Then we'll make our way down. Hmm. I have a decent amount of weapons, so I don't think I should take him on. The end is here. You want me to throw you off the bridge? Oh. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well... Well, let's just say it's badder than most. Oh? We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines started glowing. Uh. Well, you know what this means, don't you? The end is near! With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? 
<laughs> what thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Mm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one is closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You'll think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. I don't think I've ever talked to that guy. Is that a pot? We might have to go kill him. Hmm. But there's just a chest floating in the water. We should try and get that. <laughs> you know, kind of going back to that, like, joke of, like, if you gave players an infinite weapon that only had two uh, damage, that they would use that over any durability weapon. Imagine them trying to whittle away at the 3,000 HP enemy. That would take them 1,500 hits. I do not think I have the patience to whittle away at a boss like that. I might have been able to beat... Well, actually, no, I never did beat Dark Souls. I got, like, to the end and then stopped. That happens a lot with me for some reason. Same thing with, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Same thing with, uh... Twilight Princess. Got near the end and then stopped. I need to... I have it on the Wii U now, so I should definitely play that on stream sometime. I think what I might do is go Breath of the Wild, then Age of Calamity, then... Or like... Yeah, Age of Calamity, and then... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, and then go back and do, like, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, even though Twilight Princess is my favorite. I don't care what anybody says, Wolf Link is great. You dare try to kill me? Your meat is mine. Speaking of which, maybe I should summon Wolf Link at one of these points. We do have the amiibo rune. But we need to take these guys out. Use that cooking pot. Your god is here! Bleed for me! Give me your guts! Your guts are mine. Alright, now we can do some cooking. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I cook multiple apples. If it just gives me multiple baked apples. Simmered fruit. Eat fruit! I wonder if I just throw in one apple, what will happen? I could probably look up actual recipes to really game the system, but maybe later. So I think I'll just make, like, a, a bunch of doubled-up apples so I can restore half my health for now. For some reason, I want to press the X button to open up menus, and I don't know why. What have I played that instilled this in my brain? Eat fruit!
I do kind of wish there was like a cooking menu that you could just be like, hey, I want to make this dish this many times. Although I can skip. It's just I got distracted and didn't. Alright, now I have a bunch of half health healies. I wonder what happens if I approach the guardian he, he was looking after. If he'll be like, No! Don't get near it! You'll die! I see you, you motherfucker. I see you underneath. I understand your existence. And I defy you, balloon man. Rotten balloon child. Stay away from my batteries. Oh, good God. My brain just said, hey, for Halloween, I should do, like, a, a Five Nights at Freddy's marathon. Not sure how well that would go. Depends. We'll have to see how things are by October. I do like the minor clinky clanking of your weapons on your back. Give me your meat! Speaking of meat, there's more, some cooking right there. We shall go to murder. Well, first things first, we'll want to sneak up on their lookout. I wonder if there's been somebody who did a playthrough where they were, like, never seen by an enemy in the field. It was all stealth. Like, of course, they would have had to have been seen at some points for, like, mandatory combat, but still. BOMB! I sent one of your friends to drown. What do you think of that? <laughs> Die. I found a, like, 50 ruby before I found a green one. Is this the existence of Hy Hylian inflation? What is in here? Valuables. Let's see, can I blow up these? I can! I don't think if anything was in them, though. Then again, bombs send things flying, so who knows. And a 20 ruby! Huzzah! More materials. Blow up the boxes. Give unto me glory. And apples. But mostly glory. One thing I definitely need to collect are these fireflies. Because they upgrade the sneaky... Speaking of sneakiness, goddamn... Cr cricket! Come to me... I need these fireflies. There's like a quest for one, or like a quest for these fireflies, and then they're used to upgrade the Sheikah outfit, which is, I think, one of my favorite outfits, if I recall. That one floating just above, being able to be grabbed, you're evil. Well, all your friends are gone. Now you're at grabbing range, aren't you? I knew it. Ah, it's night time. Don't need to deal with anything if I blow them up. 
If it wasn't for the DLC Phantom Ganon's armor, I'd use the Sheikah. Like I said, I like to play Fashion Souls when it comes to this game. Is that just a fire? Or is... Yeah, it's just a fire. But also... More night-night bugs. Come here. I'm totally not gonna grind you up to make myself more sneaky in the future. Totally not! Well, something scurried away. Iron Shroom! Ah, good. The most tanky guy is sleeping right next to a bomb that we can make even more bomb. <laughs> bomb. I thought I'd have to do more. Well, speaking of more, get back here and get stabbed. Let's see, what do I want to stab you with next? How about this claymore? Yeah. Do a flip for me and die. The fact that the one collectible is indeed Bokoblin and Guts is interesting considering this is a Nintendo game. Nintendo is like, yes, murder that monster and take its guts for upgrade materials. And, of course... Gib. I do like that shields seem to last longer than weapons. Then again, I haven't been hit much by attacks. So if you were, like, consistently blocking attacks, it would probably go a lot faster. I gotta collect all the things. Materials for thing stuff. Gotta collect all the things for thing stuff. And what are you? Ah, oh, a sneaky river snail. Not that sneaky. He was glowing! Was it named that out of irony? Be like, hey, have you seen this snail? Why does it look like, oh, you can't miss it, it glows in everything. <laughs> I guess you could say it's one sneaky snail. <laughs> and then it just stuck. Hey, what am I doing? I can just blow you to bits. <laughs> now hold still. Blow you to bits. <laughs> I respect your worth ethic, but uh, why aren't you asleep, oh lookout Bokoblin? That is against the law. You are an enemy. Sleep. Ah, that did enough damage to kill him outright. Who needs headshots? As you're playing Breath of the Wild, what happened to Persona 3? It's just that for some reason I just felt like I was uh, missing out on streams more just to brain not being good. So I figured I'd throw this in as, like, an option. We're definitely going to continue Persona 3. Just, uh, with some occasional Breath of the Wild. Why would you put that in a chest? But yeah, hopefully this will be at least every other stream, like Breath of the Wild, then... Like, uh, Breath of the Wild, and then... Persona 3, or maybe multiple Persona 3s in a row, and then a Breath of the Wild or two. Just like, basically, I'm going to aim for no more than two streams of one game in a row. And uh, see where we go from there. I guess I'll keep the Korok Leaf on me, because, like, just I guess... Hmm. Well, actually, 
Soldier's Broadsword versus Claymore. Yeah, some change in pace, basically. I think it was because even though I still like like Persona 3, it's a really good game. I'm enjoying it. I think there's still like a subconscious eh, from my brain when it comes to the time management. So I figured giving my brain a rest from it will allow me to go back in and do it good better. You're sleeping on a hillside just makes you seem weird. Aha, you fool. Be gone, bot on Twitch. And thus the bot has its revenge, for it called the Bacoblins in. Because on Twitch I get like just bot after bot that's like, best viewers on blank. It's just like, I'm not gonna buy viewers from you. What am I, a disgraced content creator that wants to get back in the game? If I'm gonna get viewers, it's gonna be because I can do silly voices. And play games at the same time. Ah, uh, shit, the horn fell away. But at the same time, I guess I can't, like, super blame people that go, I'm going to view bot to try and raise my chances, because algorithms do be shit. Algorithms be evil nightmare things. So, like, I can see some people go, if I just get, a, like, a boost, like, get 20 viewers, they'll put me in, like, the top whatever of streamers and then I can get growth naturally but still nah I don't need bots following me and looking at me and plus it just feels like a waste of money to me like even if you view bot that's not gonna like like that might get more eyes on you but that still won't help you if people don't want to actually watch your content And now we're at the tower. Granted, there are situations where it is like, ah, oh, good content, it just needs enough viewers to kickstart it into the algorithm, go viral enough. But even then, I doubt view botters are gonna do that. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Twitch, YouTube, and other big sites have bot detection like that. If they can slightly notice the difference between natural virality and then bot bots. Considering that, like, I think most botting things are just, like, putting your streams on, like, I don't know, wiki pages or something. As, like, a tiny single pixel thing. It's like... The methodology of, like, getting viewers to bots is weird. But it's a market. But then again, people... <laughs> like, I wonder how useful it even actually is. Or, like, how good it is at making money. If it's, like, one of those Chinese review farms where they just have thousands of phones on racks in a tiny little room. But as I ramble, like I was going to ramble earlier, like I was saying that I play, have been playing Cyberpunk 2077 again. I think it's a fine game. 2077 is a fine game now that they've fixed it. There's still bugs. Because what do you expect? It's a giant RPG. Probably some spaghetti code in there. But, like, it's not the greatest thing. It's basically like a... Uh, first-person shooter RPG 
like uh, Skyrim, basically. New Age Skyrim. Hmm. Because I know that there's one up there. I think there's also... Cause I forget exactly, because I know there's two nearby shrines. I probably should have marked them. I am a fool. But uh, the other game that I've been playing lately is uh, Zinless Zone Zero, the new Hoyo vs. Gacha game. Gotta say, pretty fun. I haven't put any money into it. Nope, don't plan to. It's just like, there doesn't seem to be much value in actually, like, paying money for gacha pools. They seem prohibitively expensive. But I finally got the character I've been wanting since the game's release. <laughs> like a month ago. It took me a month to get the S rank character I really wanted. It, uh, it is, of course, the furry butler wolf guy. I finally got him. At long last. And the other other game I've been playing lately is Marvel Rivals, the Marvel-based hero shooter. It's decent, I guess. It's hard to, like, properly judge it because it is in, like, a beta mode right now. So there's, like, no way to know if, uh, like, what its monetization is going to be like. Because to me, a free-to-play game lives and dies by, like, the value proposition to players. Because, like, Overwatch 1, I think, had a decent value proposition. Loot boxes were terrible, but at least you got a decent slate of things from it and, like, were able to earn loot boxes. You can hardly earn anything in Overwatch 2. I feel like I'm going the wrong way about this. I don't have the stamina to properly climb. But I just I don't know where the... Like, uh, shrine is up here. Because I know there's a shrine somewhere up here. Well, now that we're, like, more... And let's glance around and see if we can find the shrine on the inside. Because if I remember correctly, this is a double shrine. We're like, uh... Ah, darn it. Oh, wait, did I see a light? No. But yeah, overall, no idea if... Bubba ba Marvel Rivals will be good or not until we actually know its monetization plan. I've been playing Summoner 2 on my channel, your typical American RPG. I don't think I've ever heard of Summoner 2. Don't think I have. And then I guess the other, other game that I've been playing, like on and off, is uh, League of Legends. Although hilariously, I have not played the main MOBA mode. In a long, long time. I mainly play ARAM. And uh, lately, their PvE game mode that they released not too long ago, Swarm. It's actually pretty good. Swarm is very, very fun. Gotta climb, cause I know that there's a shrine up here. <laughs> One of the techs for climbing with low stamina is finding just, like, a small part of the cliff face with just enough, like, space for you to, like, stand up so you can recuperate a little bit. Know you're up here somewhere. Shrine of shrines. Shrine of mine. 
And for some reason, out of nowhere, my brain just went, I really need to get around to watching the Castlevania show on Netflix. Heard great things about it. Um, a face rock. There's just so many shows out there now. Because I think down there, luckily we can go to this one and then go there. And uh, if I remember correctly, I should be good on doing these ones. Because if I remember how these function, they are a pair. Where basically they each have like a layout that you need to do on the other shrine. And I took screenshots of them. Like on my first playthrough of this game. I have almost 10 year old screenshots that will help me for these. Just need to be able to see if I can... What's the word? Decipher them. Map stamps! Map stamps. Stamp your maps now. Do 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 do. Alright, so it is bottom right. Now let's see. Have to go to my screenshots. Because I don't think I have any other screenshots. Oh, I have a few. <laughs> Primarily from, like, accidental ones. And then from blah blah blah. So that's the one that is... Like, right here, because the bottom right. And this is the one I need to make over here. Alright, so it is... B... It is like a A2. Okay. Basically, I can just look back on this. Constantly. Nah. That's the one nice thing about being able to do it here. <laughs> Saved by old screenshots. Exactly. Okay. I'll have to do it little by little. You should go... Wait, nope. It was... A2. And then... Go back over here. Oh, not Nintendo eShop. There. Album. My Nintendo album. Alright, so one just below, and then in the same column all the way down to the bottom. Okay, just below. All the way down to the bottom. This is the, like, one very cool thing about, like, being able to instantly... Do them. All right, all the way at the end, and then just above bottom. And then let me double check just to be sure. I love that this two shrines took me so much time to understand. If I recall correctly, I also took me a while. Just wanted to double check. Okay, you should go here. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's why I took those screenshots. I'm quite proud of myself that I did that instead of just looking it up. I 
don't think there's any other, like, treasure treasures. Give me a spirit orb, old monk boy. Although I do realize now that, uh, I didn't get the, my normal route, because I usually went and got, like, the climbing bandana, but I don't know what shrine it's from. I think because I usually looked over, it's like, ah, oh, there's a nearby one, like, shrine, ran to it, did it, got the, got it as a reward, but I didn't this time. Hmm. I don't even have anything for my head. And now we fly down to here. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Like, maybe it's over in that one over there. There are, like, a few shrines along the river. Which is kind of interesting. Sheev enough. And then we'll have to look at it again. My screenshots again. Oh yeah, because we can look at this one. The shrines atop these peaks share connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Alright. Let's take a look at my album. Alright, so it is middle, top, just below bottom. Just below top, bottom. Alright. Let's see if I remember my own diddly D. Middle, top, just below, bottom. Alright. Just before. Double check. Yep, just before top bottom. I wonder if there's like a 100% shrine speed run. Like how much they'd have to memorize to make it out alive. And this is another upgrade of four in the bag. Give me your orbs, old man. Give me your orbs! I really like Breath of the Wild. It's just such a nice, like, it fits the game series spiritually while still being, like, uniquely its own thing. You thought that I was going to flat upon the ground. Oh. If I remember correctly, there's like a shrine like kind of around. Oh, there was a shrine down here. That's where the climbing bandana is. I think. I'll definitely remember that. I'll come back in just a second. I want to scout up ahead. I guess I have a hammer. I should probably use it. 
hammer. Just got rock salt. Because, you know, that's what sane people do. I'm going to put rocks in my food. It enhances the flavor. Like, I don't immediately see it, but it could just be around about somewhere. Well, we have to fly our way back to that one shrine. Because I do believe that the climbing cap does come from it, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. My memory is quite garbage. I'm coming for you, Shriny. You'll never escape me, Shrine. We. We. Ridahi. All right, I gotta go now. Have fun. Thank you for stopping by. And hope whatever it is you have to go do goes well. And remember to stay hydrated. Hydration important. Choo choos, they will explode when attacked. Timing is critical. Not critical timing. You've heard of moist critical. Now it's time for time critical. Interesting. Ah, this is to go back if you want to leave that way. If you're terrible at your job. Timing. And I don't even have to flick it up. How dare you spawn right around here and then leave me. Damnable platform. Traitor of the gods. There's a plat- well, uh, I say platform, but treasure chest over there. And chests over there. And then do the flick. You did it again! Yeah. I wonder. Ah, is it because... No, could it? Hmm. Some of those barrels. Some diddly something with those barrels. You're metal, aren't you? Give me your soul! Become useful to me! <laughs> this treasure chest is mine. Climber Bandana! Now I can climb slightly faster while looking like a working man. I'm suddenly reminded. I guess I have to. Hmm. Oh, or maybe I can just... No, I cannot do that. I am a fool. Or maybe I can smack it with the other one. <laughs> Who needs to go back when I can inflict bodily harm? Nice hat there. Give me your orb. I find it funny that I did this, like, completely out of order to how I usually did it. I usually did this one first, then, like, climbed up to do it. The other ones. Now I can have be one-third of a mountaineer. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Huh. 
I didn't know Lizolfo swam in the river this early. Did not expect that. And there already is another shrine nearby. Is it like up and I missed it? Or is it just around this corner? I think it might just be around this corner. Alright, sneak up on these guys, drop the bomb. And then there will be peace in the universe as I explode into a bloody hearse. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Where's the survivor? <laughs> Like, every single time they swing at me, prepare to swing at me, I'm like, oh, surely I can block in time? No. This is not that kind of game. This is not a swing, a swing and a miss game. This is all a swing and a hit game. A boomerang. I never use these. Never use the boomerangs. They're just not for me. You can do cool things with the boomerangs. But I can't. I'm bad with the boomerangs. Yep, and then the shrine's right here. I fear this might be a battle shrine. Luckily, if it is, it's one that they want me to go in. I know that I have a single heart one. Nom. I hear that opponent's song. Something tried to get me. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, idiot! You try to get me, you cannot get me, for only I can get me. For I am me. Well, I think this will be a battle shrine, so... Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo! Because there's something reminds me that this should be a battle shrine. My memory's coming back to me vaguely. Feels like a battle shrine. Let's let it do its reveal. Oh, it's not a battle shrine. It's an ice cryonis. Ha da ha ma. Ha da ha ma. Da ha ha ma. Yeah. Block the ball! And then other one. Uh, block the ball's blocking. Damn it! But it still might work. Ha ha! Shit, it didn't. And then just enough for it to roll on longer. Booyah. And now I see you. Optional treasure chest. Yeah, I was wondering why it didn't activate by then. <laughs> Took you a while rolling around, didn't you? Rolling around at the speed of rolling around. Got rolling around to. Rolling around to. Let's see if I can make it. I cannot. Shit, 
I'm dead. Power of the gods, put me back here to haunt you eternally, treasure chest, until you make way. Fine, I'll do it the boring way by making a staircase of ice. I wanted to do giant jumping sweeps. That is not the way it is meant to go. All right, old monk man, give me your orb. Spirit orb. We're almost there to, we're halfway to another one. Booyah. And now when we leave, I do believe that the spiky thorns that cover the base of this shrine should be gone. Unless the game is mean and just kept them there to taunt me. Hello there. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know of how peaceful it is around here? It's sometimes easy to forget that the world has almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Tell me! Oh. You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures of monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. Oh. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Thank you. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies any time I need it, or any time I need to hurry. The recipe is just high tail lizard and monster parts, so usually I have a stock of ten or so on hand. Neat. Yeah, I just walk in, we'll go talk to him. Then we'll... Head back, talk to the people of the stables, and then we'll probably end it there. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know, uh, be heading to Kakarika Village, would you? If you are, just follow the roads north. The village is one of the places I sell ore at, so I know the way really well. Thank you. We might wander around this place, uh, see if there's any other shrines or diddly dees around. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. No. You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For a hundred years now, ever so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions, but it's a mysterious phenomenon. Huh. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Uh. Huh, a quest. Uh. I got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great! Listen up, Gak! Uh. Press in, hang on. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You ain't all... Uh... Aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Huh? Press in, you're gonna give it all away. Ah. Sorry, Jack, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Uh... Hey, Beetle. Hey! Hey! I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick a Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> 
I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. So, how can I help you today? <laughs> I'm sure I have something you'll need. Yeah, I don't really need any of these right now. I don't have the rupees to just buy willy-nilly. Well, let's see. Six rupees for an arrow. So actually, yeah, that should be basically around the same. Hmm. I'll buy five arrows from you. Let's see, is there anything oh. I care to sell? I don't want to sell the gemstones and stuff. Those are very good, but... If I wanted to, I could just deforest the entire place and sell wood. But we're definitely not selling, like, any of the pick uppables. Like, versus an apple. I don't have an apple to compare. So it'd probably just be three. So I could do cooking for money, if I wanted to grind money. Hmm. But I'm not in need of money right now. Goodbye, Beetle. Hi. Welcome. Will you be staying with us? A regular bed will cost you 20. A soft bed is seven. Is 40. What's the soft bed? Oh. Your soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. It costs more than a regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Will you be staying with us? Uh. Come see us again. Oh. If I remember correctly, like, Misko's treasure is off, like, that way, I think? Or it's like, follow the river or something. We can steal from these poor suckers. It's a cute doggo. I don't think you can pet them, though. Hello, doggy. I never, I've never seen a dog actually like grab its tail in this game. That was adorable. Yeah, because I think Misko's treasure is over there, so I'll set a mark to remind myself. There's a monster encampment over there. But yeah, I think all we'll do is check out Misko's treasure, at least where I think it is. Grab that treasure chest. Then head to Kakariko Village next time. I do believe, I do believe. Need to be careful. Yeah, definitely don't want to be spamming that. That'll do damage to it. But if you do this, sometimes collectibles can be found. But yeah. This is just a very relaxing, like, change of pace. Like, I might do one more stream of this before heading back to... Blah, 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 heading back to Persona 3. We might do Persona 3 next time, but this is a very nice. This is very nice. I do believe that that will be that for now. Breath of the Wild is really, really fun all these years later. Can't wait to continue it or Persona 3. But thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But sometimes when brain is evil, uh, I, I, I take a break, because bleh. So, next time should be Wednesday at 5 p.m., where we either jump back to Persona 3 or maybe continue more Breath of the Wild. If other things you want from me can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or various link places like descriptions, bios, and more. 
that have links to everything that I do, like edited content, YouTube channel, streaming Twitch or YouTube, with all of these VODs being thrown onto the streaming YouTube channel. Places that I upload, like art to, or even upload stories I write to, are also there. And of course, my Patreon, which is basically just a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, stay true, be you, and stay happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. <laughs>